Hi everyone, my name is Jay Sable and I am the Executive Director of One Community, 501c3 nonprofit organization, open source project launch blueprinting, everything that people need to create self-sufficient, sustainable, self-replicating teacher demonstration villages, communities, and cities all over the world. We're a highest good of all organization and uh, I'd like to give you a brief report on our project for the last week, everything that we've accomplished, and then I'd like to talk about what highest good of all means to us. And so first off, our report on the last week. Uh, last week, as is every week, has been a very busy week. This is video blog number four, by the way. Um, and uh, so let's see, things that happened last week, and if you want to read the details on the, I'm just going to list things off. If you want to read the details on all this, click on the video blog link down below. Uh, on the on this YouTube description, I always put a do a written blog, and that way I have links that can expand on all these details. If you click on the link down below, you can get all the information you want. My goal here is just to share what's what's up with us, and to invite you to uh, hear about what we have to say about highest good of all, and to participate in creating historic global change with us, if that's something you're interested in, or to participate just by watching and checking us out. So updates for the week, let's see. Uh, last week we welcomed Charles McLean, a college professor and an amazing 3D graphics um, architect and urban planning sustainable food uh, expert as well to the team. Uh, we've also been getting some amazing help from somebody that I met through Facebook. Uh, John, thank you very much for all the amazing work that you're doing on the 3D renderings for the Tropical Dome. Um, super, super excited to share that and those pictures. If you go to the link down below, you can see the images that John Bassist has made uh, for us there as well. Um, other updates, we've added a lot of website infrastructure this week. Specifically, we've added suggestion links to most of our infrastructure pages and we're building out those open source infrastructure portals. So the open source portals will eventually, they're expanding as we speak into a list of links where it'll say uh, click here for list of materials, click here for specific architectural plans, click here for building details, click here for problem solving, etc. And we're building out that those details so that people will have that website infrastructure to access all of the open source details that you need. And so we've added a suggestion link. We've added links in a lot of cases to our back office notes so people can use the comments function. Uh, and of course, people are always welcome to join us either as pioneer members uh, ready to move on to the property and live with us and build all of this or as consultants or partners if you want to be involved in our weekly calls, etc. And then there's the new suggestion pages. Uh, in addition to that, We've added suggestion pages for our open source conscious music project, which is not something that we talk about a whole lot of, but uh, gets a lot of website traffic, which is just sharing what we believe are the happiest, most uplifting, high vibration, great songs to live, love, sing, and just be happy to. And so we've added a suggestions page to that so that we can gather more, more great ideas and continue to build that out as a great resource for people that are interested in really positive lyrics and positive songs that share a highest good of all, what we, we believe is the highest good of all message. Um, we've also uh, updated our, our One Community Agreement for people interested in becoming pioneers and included a Frequently Asked Questions page on there. Um, we have significant Sago Center uh, City Hub updates as well. Uh, which you can see the link in the, down below as, as well on that. We've added a new CAD export, which has the addition of fourth floor um, bathrooms. We've uh, done new Living Dome central bathrooms, which saves on resources and is a much more efficient way to build and represents our community model better. Let's see, we've also uh, removed the walls in the second floor Living Dome area. Uh, we added the addition of a mezzanine access walkway in the dining dome and we've added an additional expansion to the central natural pool and hot tub area uh, for this building which will be the it'll be an open source and, and duplicable um, city center hub it's literally meant to be a city center hub so if you want to learn details on that click on the link down below um, additionally we were I was interviewed on ponder talk radio and so if you'd like to see that interview talking about open source and just the future of humanity and where we're going with all this stuff that was a cool interview and then um, we're doing 3D renderings now on the aquaponics wallapini combination designs, so sustainable food designs. And last but not least, we have created two more pages to the Education for Life program, 
We've created the ORF uh, Shulwork page, which is the ORF method of teaching based on music, dance, and, uh, and play for teaching children. And we've also finished the interconnectedness curriculum page. And a whole bunch of other infrastructures have been built on that. And if you'd like details on that, click on the link down below as well. So that's the update for the last week. We've got a lot of exciting stuff uh, coming up this week. So I'm not going to talk about that other than to say that I think next week's video blog is going to be a really cool one. And now I'd like to talk about high is good for all. So one community is a highest good for all organization. What does that mean? A lot of people say highest good of all. What does that mean? You know, it seems obvious on the surface, but you know, how can you truly be for the highest good of all? I mean, there's so many differences. There's so much diversity out there. How could you possibly even claim to be the highest good of all? And the answer to that is within the question. Really, our belief and our, our value system in relation to the highest good of all is to transcend all of that, to rise above our differences and to really focus on the things that are the same. And through our open source model, to provide something that is equally usable, accessible, and beneficial to people with completely different value systems all over the world. That's our idea of what the highest good of all means. The idea is to constantly think about what is maximally beneficial to the most people while completely and totally and always considering that it should also be beneficial for people that don't agree at all, for people that might have a completely different worldview. The idea is to embrace the similarities, to embrace what we have in common, to reach out to humanity and say, hey, this is what we're doing, and it's not we're not doing it because we think that other people should. We're not doing it because we think that other people need to. We're not doing it because we think that other people have to. We're just doing it because this is what we think is the best and is the most helpful in the world and what will provide the greatest long-term benefits for everybody. And we invite anybody who agrees with us to participate. And we invite people who don't agree with us to participate in whatever way works for them as well by doing it completely different. That's what we think is, is the purest, highest good of all philosophy and specifically on our website, we've added a whole bunch of, just literally in the last week, one other update is we've really gone into our website and we've added in highest good food, highest good energy. So in our evolving sustainability, sustainability, in my opinion, has, and we've had a lot of talk about it as a group, is, has really, it's got a lot of energy on it. I think uh, people have a lot of different views on what sustainability is, and I feel like the, the real root of what the word sustainable means uh, has kind of lost a lot of its meaning in society. And so what we wanted to do is we want to say, well, we really want to represent that, you know, something that's that's clearer than the word sustainable. And so highest good, because we're highest good of all organization, is what we decided to choose. And so now if you go to our website, you will see that it says highest good food, highest good energy, highest get good housing, highest good society. These are the ideas and what we've done is we said, okay, well, let's create what we believe is for the highest good of all humanity. And let's put it out there. Let's actually say that that's what we're creating. And then let's put it out there in a way that people can use in the way that they want. And so as part of our highest good philosophy, we're, we're actually really putting it out there that our goal is to, to demonstrate versions of what we believe is highest good and then invite the world to collaborate, invite the world to participate and to uh, add their own voices or add their own versions, or add their own iterations of what it is that we're creating. And since we're an open source, free sharing, nonprofit organization, it's really easy for us to do that and to put that out there. Which brings up a really interesting point. You know, I had a, a question just the other day. Somebody said, "Well, um, you know, why give it away for free? Why would you? Why? What? How does that? How is that in the highest good of all of us folks that need to make a living?" You know, if you give away the engineering plans, if you give away the architectural plans, how is that in the highest good of engineers and architects? I'll tell you, that's a great point because we really, really are thinking about this. The same thing also applies. People have said, well, you know, if you're creating these systems where people are growing their own food, how is that good for farmers? You know, how is that good for people that are producing food? Let me talk about that because it's a great question. Um, the highest good of all philosophy is really to draw more and more people, more mainstream people, 
into this idea of creating for the highest good of all. It's to, it's, to, it's to create a new market and a new industry of people that are interested in, in this philosophy, this idea of doing what's best for everybody in their own way, whatever the version of that looks like, but to really draw a mainstream public that right now, I feel, isn't really uh, engaging the idea of, of building their own homes so much or growing their own food or producing sustainable energy or creating sustainable societies or highest good societies or uh, evolving education and things like that because the, the process of creating that, in my opinion, in our opinion as a group, is that it's just, it's, it's, nobody's demystified it. Nobody's made it simple. Nobody's made it easy. Nobody's made it accessible enough such that somebody that hasn't ever really engaged with this information even knows where to start. And so our philosophy is to do exactly that, to demystify the process, to provide the basic foundations of architectural plans and engineering plans and the designs and to demonstrate what we believe will be a superior or more fulfilling and enriching way of living that people will get more that fulfills the deeper needs of human beings, that creates happier, healthier people that are just more excited about life and able to live life the way that they want to live life more and to make that so easily accessible that when people experience it, they will want to duplicate it and to make that duplication process so easy that it will create a groundswell of new interest in this idea of highest good of all living that we feel is cooperative and we're creating to be cooperative, collaborative, and a, a global participation in this idea of addressing and creating solutions for the most pressing issues of our generation and generations to come. And so in doing that, how does that work for engineers and architects? If we're giving away engineering plans, if we're giving away architectural plans, how does that, how does that help those folks? It helps them because we're creating a massive new market that normally wouldn't even be interested in engaging this process. And we're building the foundation and making it easy enough that those people that normally would have to invest their financial resources and their energy and their time in this process of starting, we're giving them that starting foundation. And then we're saying, hey, this is our idea of what looks cool. This is our idea of what we think is the most beautiful and most enriching and most eco-artistic awesome from our perspective. If you want to build exactly that, we are going to make it as easy as we possibly can for you to build it exactly the way that we build. And if you want to get creative and you want to take it to the next level, you should talk to an architect and engineer because we've done all this work. We've cleared away all this path. We can hand that architect and that engineer this finished product and then you can take the same money that you would have put just into just getting to where we are, and instead you can put that you can put that investment into making it even better, making it uniquely you, or convert making it what what it is that you want more that fits this piece of property better or provides this more for you. And in the process of doing that, if you share those ideas with us as part of our open source and project launch blueprinting and sharing, we will share all these different ideas to inspire other people to want to do the same thing, other people to take those ideas and run with them. And in doing this, we believe that we're creating a, a global brain trust, a global archive of information and ways to ev evolve this that will create a completely new paradigm of building, of engineering. And it'll take all these folks that, that have these amazing skills, these amazing gifts. And I'm not just talking about architecture and engineering. I'm talking about farming, education, you know, business creation, social and recreational evolution. All these aspects, building the basic foundations and saying, hey, this is the best idea that we've come up with. And we're collaborating globally. And everybody that's got an idea to add to the big, the whole... We keep putting this out there, and we're putting it out there for free. And if you get an idea that will take this to the next level, share it with us so we can share it with the world. And as we, as a global community, come together and evolve these ideas and keep making them better and better and better, now, instead of spending our time working on the basics, we, in all these areas, architects, engineers, teachers, farmers, health professionals, all these different areas, get to, instead of working on the basics, we get to engage a higher level of creativity, 
a higher level of expansion and evolution of all of this and share and keep sharing that with the world. And so my belief is that this will be a leapfrogging process of growth and advancement and, and improved cooperation and collaboration and innovation for the entire human species as it catches on such that I truly believe that this has the possibility to, to lead us into a new golden age of, of working together, collaboration, cooperation, creativity, innovation, all of those things as a populace for those who want to participate. And I think that if we make it easy enough, we'll have more and more people participating such that we could see historic change for the entire human species for the highest good of all. And that is my ultimate goal and one community's ultimate goal. And that is how, in the short term, we see it helping architects and engineers because if you even if we succeed in our goals of making it so easy that people could take everything that is one community right out of the box and duplicate it that 70 percent of people could do that the other 30 percent that would either say well you know i would like to tweak this and make it my my own or i would like to change this or that other 30 percent that that would say eh, you know it just looks too difficult i would rather pay somebody to build this for me that 30%, because it's 30% of a completely new market, the amount of business, the amount of support, the amount of interest that would then be driven to these industries that are helping us set this up right now, we think that it's revolutionary. I mean, I think that it's an opportunity to, to really drive these industries to a whole new level of productivity and creativity, like I said, and not just in the basics, but in really, really celebrating what's possible as an engineer with true skills or as an architect with true skills. And we would like to, we would like to be so, if we're, we believe that if we're so successful that it would eliminate the component of architects and engineers going out there and looking for business and instead it will create this need for these folks to continue to evolve this and grow it because now it's become so easy for people to build their own homes because we've helped to evolve the international building code to accept some of these these new building materials and building methods that have been around forever but they're still considered experimental based on the existing code well if the code embraces that these materials are so cheap and so affordable to build with now people can build bigger homes they can build more interesting structures they can get more creative with it and the question might be well what about what about the the wood industry or what about i mean the idea that those industries would be damaged by this is not, I, I personally disagree. I think that the, once again, people then would be able to go, oh, well, I'm going to use these resources in different ways and start really looking at, at uh, expanding the creativity and engaging these projects at a whole new level. And so I really, really do believe that, that if we unfold this the way that we are right now, the whole idea is more interest in building this way, more interest in creating this way, more interest in living this way is truly, truly for the highest good of all because it serves everybody. Everybody benefits. Even the people that aren't participating will benefit by saved resources, by availability of higher quality of food, by the availability of higher quality of recreation, by the fact that there'll be happier people. And as we expand this idea internationally, and build teacher demonstration villages in places like Haiti, in Africa, in Brazil, in areas that might not normally have this. We take the money from the United States and we drive that, we, we take those resources and we take them to the places that need them the most, that could benefit the most, places that don't have power. And we set up solar grids and things like this and we set up aquaponics food production structures and we teach these folks how to build really these, this next generation of housing and we share that idea and we integrate with their cultures, bringing the resources from where the resources are available to where they're needed the most. And then these people have community resources that are really feed the deeper level needs of us as people. And so the idea is not to go to Haiti as a philanthropic endeavor, not to go to Haiti as a humanitarian effort, but to build in Haiti because you want to set up a teacher demonstration village and live there and become a part of that culture and share something really beautiful and something really helpful with really beautiful and wonderful people that will share what they have 
And thus this whole idea, this whole concept of, of teacher demonstration villages being built around the world. And then of course we're open sourcing our business model as well. And so, and we're creating the infrastructure such that once people catch on to this idea of one community, once people come and they visit and they go, wow, this is amazing, or they just hear about it and they say, I'd like to visit something like this. We want to create a global network of organizations that are doing their own versions of what it is that we're creating. And they have their own special flair or they're duplicating it exactly the way, whatever they want to do. But if we're all working for the highest good of all, if they're on board with the idea of open source and free sharing and doing and creating for the highest good of all, we want to create the marketing engine so that when people say, oh, I'd like to visit something like this, but I'm not really interested in your location or where can I do this? We can say, here it is. Go and visit in Haiti. Go to Brazil. Go to Africa. And when you go to Africa and you experience this way of life and you see this integration of the culture and you see these amazing, beautiful, artistic buildings and these people living for the highest good of all, if you think that's a pretty cool idea, if you like that idea and you'd like to be a part of that idea, you should build a teacher demonstration village too. And do it in the way. If there's some aspect of it that you think could be made better, that's what we're interested in. Take this idea and make it better. Take this idea and evolve it into something new and let's work together for the highest good of all of humanity, for all people, for benefiting everybody. That's what it's about. So, hopefully that's been helpful. That's our concept of the highest good of all. You know, the idea is, is uh, really to, I think if I were to pick a foundation of it all, is to say, well, you know, the, the most, to, to think globally, to share as much as you possibly can, to focus on diversity as a really wonderful thing and celebrating diversity and, uh, and recognizing that, you know, there's a lot of different ways to throw an amazing party. And so if we clearly define what it is that we're doing and we make it available so that people can take those pieces of this, this historic global transformation party that we're throwing and throw their own party in a different way, then the people that are really drawn to the different aspects of the different creations that are all coming together right now in this time, and it is a great time to be alive, then uh, people will be able to participate in the pieces that they enjoy and that they resonate most strongly with. And that's our goal, is to see as many different versions as possible spread around the world and uh, to, to expand this idea of highest good of all thinking and open source and free sharing to the benefit of all industries, all individuals, all of humanity and our planet simultaneously. And, you know, so that's what we're doing. We're doing it to the best of our ability. And uh, that's what I have to say about the highest good of all. Thank you. If you like the kind of stuff that we're talking about, if you enjoy uh, these video updates, this is only number four, but we're going to keep doing them every week. You know, we have so many things that are, that are going on. Check out our website, sites, sustainabilitynonprofit.org, onecommunityranch.org. Like this video. Uh, you know, people liking our videos and these, these YouTube videos and stuff really helps us to know what people enjoy us talking about and uh, what we're sharing, that we're supported. We do enjoy that. It's good. little ego egoic pat on the back. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Have yourself a beautiful day. Have yourself a highest good for all day. Thanks for following our project. Oh, also, if you want to check us out on Facebook, uh, we got a couple different Facebook page. We have uh, facebook.com forward slash one community fans, which is our inspirational page where we share just inspirational sayings and pictures and stuff like that. And then we've got our Facebook updates page, uh, one community updates, facebook.com forward slash one community updates. And then if you want to check in with all of our other social networks, we are on everything. And you can do that from our website. So one community ranch.org is our open source project launch blueprinting site and sustainability nonprofit.org is our uh, our overview site that is uh, just kind of giving a it's a, a dip into one community it's not quite so detailed so thank you very much and have yourself a beautiful day